Our top news this week. Aperture expands their portfolio of cutting-edge LED lights with the new ElectroStorm series. The company showed off their newest Aperture CS15 and XT26 high-powered LEDs alongside the new F14 motorized Fresnel and the Spotlight Max modifier. The CS15 provides an impressive 1500 watt high output with full color, as well as professional connectivity alongside a rugged design with IP65 dust and water resistant construction. On the other hand, the Aperture XT26 is an even more powerful bicolor single source LED with a 2600 watt output, offering dynamic white CCT with green magenta tint control and advanced liquid cooling technology. Both units support the new electronic A mount as well as the standard bonus mount, giving users more flexibility to use both existing and new generation modifiers such as the F14 Fresnel and the Spotlight Max. Sony announced new firmware updates coming later this summer to the FX6 and the Venice 2. Firmware version 4.0 for the Sony FX6 will bring an anamorphic de-squeeze function for 1.3x and 2x anamorphic lenses, as well as autofocus in SNQ mode, both of which were highly demanded by users. On the other hand, Venice 2 users will get improvements with various crop modes in the upcoming firmware version 2.1. Sony also announced that they are working on a new firmware version 3.0 for the Venice 2 which is shaping up to be a major update with enhanced anamorphic modes, more frame rates and better options for live events. Venice 2 firmware version 3.0 is planned for release early next year. Sony also announced a pair of new high capacity CF Express Type A cards in 960GB as well as 1920GB capacities. Both are VPG200 rated which ensures fast and stable video recording without drop frames while the rugged design makes them resistant to bending and drop impact. Innovative lens maker Irix also expanded their Cine Prime range with the announcement of the new 65mm T1.5. The eighth lens in the range, the new 65mm bridges the gap between the 45mm and 150mm macro, giving cinematographers a slightly longer standard prime focal length, which was missing from the set for a long time. The new Irix 65mm T1.5 will be available in a variety of lens mounts, including PL for cinema cameras, as well as Canon RF, EF, Sony E, Fuji X and more. And that's all we have for this week. We will be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.